Hey guys, it's Michelle with Ontario MMA Alliance and I'm pleased to be joined now by the light heavyweight champion of the world, Ryan the Big Deal Jimmo. Huge win tonight over Zach Cummings. Just talk a little bit about your game plan. You peppered him with a lot of different kicks to the body, to the head, to the legs. Just was that the game plan coming into tonight? Uh, yeah, it, it was. I wanted to do a little more standing. He's a wrestler, so um, you know he's always trying to initiate the, the clinch and the shot. So it kind of slowed the fight down, but I would have probably preferred to keep it standing. You know, I was trying to catch him with more, more hands and feet, but he, like, he's a wrestler, so it made the fight a bit boring, so I apologize. Now, in the second round, you did catch him with a really good right hand that seemed to just pour blood out of his nose. Yeah. Were you shocked at, I guess, his resilience and maybe that he just kept coming at you? Yeah, yeah like, I was actually, after I hit him, I was like, <laughs> holy, is this guy still standing up? Like, he's just got a tough guy. You know, he's got a chin on him, so he should have been sleeping, but no, no, he's a tough guy. He looks like a pillow, you know, he's kind of a little flubby in his physique, man, but holy, he's got a, got a nog and as thick as a, I don't know, as a phone book. You know? Now, Tonight was the first fight for MFC in Ontario and in Windsor. How did you find the crowd tonight? Uh, they were awesome. They're, I mean, a couple times we were, you know, we were kind of just hugging in the corner and they were like, hey, come on, fight. But, I mean, they were great. They were very respectful. I mean, in Edmonton, where, where I live, there's a lot of fighters and people are like, oh, you're a fighter? Yeah, well, my buddy's son fights. It's no big deal. No one cares. But here, they're like, everyone's very interested, very respectful. And uh, just the crowd here has been awesome. Well, with the win here tonight, you have 15 wins in a row, one of the longest in MMA right now. Yeah. So, a couple questions regarding that. Number one, what are you going to do when you lose that first fight? Like, how are you going to get over that mentally? Have you thought of that at all? Lose? Okay, losing isn't an option apparently for Ryan Jimmo. Okay, so maybe we'll backtrack and your first ever loss or your first ever fight was a loss. Yeah. So, how obviously, you've been successful since then. What did you do in order to change um, things around? I just said, I don't like losing. So, I was going to put, <laughs> yeah, and I just figured if I could hit them and not let them hit me, I'd win. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of simple, you know, I'm very insecure, you know, about my fighting skills, so like, I always feel like I'm not good enough, so I always work harder and harder, and that's, uh, even, I'm going to treat this as a failure, and I feel it almost was, so, yeah. So you feel like there's no secret antidote that other fighters out there can get from you, there's no, no secret that you can give anyone out there? No, hit your opponent, don't let them hit you, you know what I mean? It's that simple. Keep it simple, don't, don't overcomplicate it, and just... That's it. Now there, there's been some rumors circulating that if you came out with another victory here tonight and were impressive that you would possibly be getting a phone call from Joe Silva and the UFC. Are these rumors true? Can you comment about any of that? I don't know. I just, uh, I'm not sure. You know, that's all up to the management side and if they like my performance and it was a little bit boring. I, I tried to spice it up with some spinning hook kicks and stuff and um, if they liked it then, uh, you know, we'll get the call or, you know, I'm, I've got one more, more, con more fight left for the MFC. So, you know, We'll, we'll fulfill that and then we'll look at, look at where we go from there. Now you did something very interesting at the end of your five round war and it was of course your robot dance. You're very good at it. So first of all, we need you to demonstrate the robot dance and then I have to learn how to dance right, like so that as well. The, oh my gosh. I've, yeah, I'll hold the belt. Hold it like you just want. Wow. Uh, it's very heavy by the way. Okay. So we're going to hold. Okay. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, now, how how would I, someone like me learn how to do the robot? I don't know if I could do that chest pumping thing like you can. No, I definitely can't do that. Uh, I started when I was like 14, 15. And I just like watch Michael Jackson videos and breakdance movies, and just it, I've been working on it for 15 years. So, I I I uh, I, I I don't go out a lot. <laughs> Well, your dancing game is just as good as your fight game. Congratulations on your big victory here tonight. Thank you very much. Awesome. <laughs> Give me that back. Sorry. <laughs>